All right, guys, so the difference between a lot size and a pip is something that you really need to be able to understand. Why? Because this is what's going to help you to make money or lose money. And overall, it's going to be able to help you to manage your risk appropriately. So with that being said, you guys can see on the charts right here. Now, one thing that you can use to really help you out to map out what a pip is. Okay, first of all, let's go ahead and just put pip right here. A pip is going to be a point in price. Okay, it's going to be a point in price. Meaning that every single time market moves up or down, it's going to be moving one pip, two pips. There's also pipettes, so on and so on. But we're going to focus on the pip right now, point in price. So one very simple and easy, effective way to understand a pip and to know what is a pip movement is going to be by using this ruler right here. So we have a pip measure, which we could go ahead and say. And as you guys can see, if I go ahead and click from the top of this wick to the very bottom of that wick right over here. It gives me a number 22.6 22 pips 0.6 pip ups okay market move 22 pips down now we go ahead and use the same tool and do it from this to right here it moved 12 pips up now that's important because that's gonna be the measurement that we're gonna be using so that we can identify what we should be looking to put as a lot size the next thing is gonna be how do we measure our lot size Okay. So there is an app called Stinu, which I highly recommend you to go ahead and look into. But I'm just going to go ahead and give you the average lot size. So I'm just going to give you the average lot size. In this case scenario, for every one lot, the average is going to be $10 per pip. Okay. For every 0.10 lots, the average move, the average price on this is going to be $1 per pip. That means that every single time the market moves one pip, it's going to be worth $1. And if we go ahead and put a 0 0.01 lot size, that's going to equal to about 10 cents per pip. Meaning that if we were to go ahead and place one trade from this area right here all the way down into this section, okay, let's just go ahead and put this, this quick example from this area right here. And let's put a stop loss right up over here at about 10 pips. Let's just say 10 pips was our stop loss. And our TP was down over here at about 60 pips. Okay. Now this is when we start translating pips and lot size. And this is how we're going to be able to actually manage our risk appropriately. If we understand that we have an entry right here and we're risking 10 pips, then we want to know how much are we going to be putting in lot size. So we know how much we're going to risk. Let's say that I want to risk a hundred dollars on this trade. That means that I can go ahead and put one lot size risk 10 pips because 10 times 10 is going to equal 100. Therefore, if I put one lot size and it goes up 10 pips, I lose $100. But if I put one lot size and it moves down 60 pips, I make $600. Now, if we go ahead and put a 0.10 lot size, that means I'll be making $1 per pip or losing $1 per pip. In this case scenario, if we enter right here, market moves 10 pips up, then I lost $10 because it's $1 per pip. If market moves down, 60 pips and I was in a cell then I made $60 because I was able to be on that cell and it's $1 per pip Now let's just go ahead and put a 0 0.01 lot size Okay, if I was to go ahead and put a 0 0.01 lot size and most 10 pips so on and so on Now these are gonna be the things that you're gonna be taking into consideration every single time you take a trade If you really want to make it simple and you want to be able to go ahead and do this without having to do the math in your head There's an app called Stinu. if you do not find it feel free to go to my previous video where I go ahead and talk about the best trading apps to make money on and that's going to be one of the apps that I go ahead and mention on there and I actually explain to you how it is that you can download it how it is it to maneuver around it so on and so forth. so I highly recommend you looking into that but with that being said that is the difference between a pip and a lot size and that is how you use them together so that way you can manage your risk appropriately with that being said guys as always let me know down below in the comments what you'd like to see next and leave a like because that definitely definitely helps our channel tremendously and i'll see you guys next time bye bye